Revelation 2187 From the 16th of December 1941 Spiritual Death Lifeless State in the Afterlife This is the state of death, that all activity is impossible and therefore the essence that has fallen into death remains in the same state, that is cannot change in itself, but the state of death is not a state of the unconscious, there is no physical death, but this word is only applicable to the spiritual state, what appears dead on earth is nevertheless alive for it does not remain the same as it is but changes, thus it is not completely lifeless. Only the being whose spiritual state is so profound that it is condemned to inactivity can be called truly dead, and this state is extremely agonizing, for the being knows about itself and its situation and cannot free itself from it. To be spiritually dead is therefore the greatest agony when the being is forced into inactivity which only recognizes a bearable state in activity. For eternities the beingness has carried out an activity, even though it was only minimal at first, but the beingness freed itself through its will to serve insofar as that it was then allowed to carry out an activity which corresponded to its will. Thus its will was certainly bound throughout eternities but the being itself was never prevented from being active and it could redeem itself through activity as soon as it was willing to carry out this activity in serving love. But now all activity becomes impossible, the being is literally lifeless and suffers terribly from this state, which it caused itself, for to be dead does not mean to be extinguished, but even the dead continues to exist to the unbearable suffering of it. The state can only be changed into a state of life by God himself, for the light has no power over the dead, because every ray of light which the beings of light transmit is life awakening and they would also bestow their love upon the dead, that is, they would give it life again, which, however, does not correspond to God's will, because the dead can only awaken to life when it is willing to love itself. The inactive state is agonizing and this agony must push the being into a decision, for or against God, until this decision is made by the being no love can be given to it, thus no strength for activity can be imparted to it. A lifeless being, however, has fallen prey to spiritual death because it still completely resists God and has not used its earthly life to give up this resistance. The last possibility is the state of complete lifelessness in the beyond with the consciousness of its existence. The being will not be granted any kind of accommodation and must itself ask for liberation from its lifeless state, which often takes eternities before the being has reached this decision. Only then will the being receive isolated rays of light, that is God himself gives his consent to the light being's redeeming activity on the lifeless. Amen.